Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd this show where I talk about OPLAY games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. I thought it would be perfect for October since, you know, it's the spooky month and this is kind of the closest that they'll ever get to making a Mario horror game. Okay, so we start off in the foyer or the foyer or however you want to pronounce it. We just have our flashlight and Luigi, you know, they're... Uh, left stick, that's pretty standard, it's just moving around. With your right stick, you spin Luigi around and up and down. Uh, with your flashlight, if you press B, it turns off. So it's always automatically on, but you can press to turn it off. If you press A, Mario. Luigi will say Mario's name. The plot for this game, it'll be explained later. Uh, and X, Y, Z, L, and R don't do anything yet, so we'll ignore those for now. And of course, Start as the pause menu. I love that image for the pause menu of just Luigi opening the door. So our first goal here is to just go up. And when we try to open up the door, we hear a weird sort of giggling sound. We got our first key. You'll be seeing a lot of these in this game. This game is all about exploring the mansion and just finding stuff, so... You know, we'll need a lot of keys. Ouch. Oof, I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Uh-oh, this looks ugly. Alright, youngster, look lively. Follow me. Post haste. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm? Where's this, you ask? Why these cozy quarters are where I do my- I don't know why I'm giving him a British accent. Or where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're of a shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe that ma the mansion actually exists then? Strange. I I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat kind of like yours went to the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never even returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. You wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. 
Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. And so here you'll get your standard controls. Uh, you can also switch to sidestep, where it, you you just move Luigi from side to side and then use the the uh, C stick to change Luigi's direction. But I personally prefer standard controls, and I think most people do too. If you wait on the screen for long enough, you hear Totaka's song, which is a song put in a lot of early games. I don't know if they still put that song in some of the uh, some of the Nintendo games, but it's basically just this Easter egg that would pop up in uh, some of these early games, and yeah, I didn't really have a good way to end that sentence, so let's just get into the ghost hunting. That's the vacuum cleaner I en engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. This game has a good amount of puns. Suck up all kind of th kinds of things. Let it rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. So let's do, do just that. R button and C stick. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. You can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. Ahem. <laughs> How's about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like dark darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. That's when it's vacuum time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. They'll learn more that, more that way than just listening to me yap about it. Got our first ghost. Hit him with your flashlight. Suck him up. And use the control stick to pull them back. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost's heart, that's your chance to vacuum him up. While vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction to bring him in. So we do that again. When that surprised ghost's heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and control stick. Tilt the control stick in the direction opposite the ghost. Now we've got two this time. We can actually vacuum multiple at once. I failed this. Uh... I'm gonna try to get the max amount of ghosts, which I think is 10. Best results. You have to get it as close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise them with the light when they get close. Pow pow. More the better. Got it? Ghosts love to hide in dark places. Isn't that a hoot? There, here they come. Now he'll send five of them at once at us. And I'm gonna try to get them all at once. Okay, I got four of them. I missed one. So I think I'll get nine ghosts. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the Poltergeist 3000 as a team. Get me, young fella. That'll do. How many did you get? Nine ghosts. I think I've gotten 10 before, but it can be a bit tough, because sometimes the ghosts just like to disappear on you. Looks like it worked up quite a sweat. How about a cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know? Let's go to the gallery. I want to explain some stuff. We have a couple of statues. You press A on them, and the wings start flapping. But we also have some paintings here. We have this painting, which just says 0G. And then we have a bunch of numbered paintings that don't have anything in them. Also in the back here we have a gold room. We've got gold statues. Are those gold bars on the floor? I don't know. But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff back there and like a pedestal for something. But we also see Luigi carrying something in his left hand. So let's talk to Egad about all this. Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? Where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. Well then, now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Boo Lossus. But there are lots of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Boo Lossus from the painting. Then they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts, too. As if that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night, and then they all hid inside. If I told anybody else this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. I'm sure my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside the mansion. I just have to get them back. 
All right, what's a GB horror? I designed the Game Boy Horror as a communications terminal. It has all sorts of functions. For example, you can press the Z button to see a list of items you've picked up. Give it a try after you get some coins. Of course, you'll also be able to see portrait ghosts there once you capture some. You can also use the Y button to display a map of the mansion. This, the display will color the rooms as you visit them. Check the map if you ever get lost. Got all that, Sonny? So, like he said, press Z. And we see all of our achievements, which is nothing. But we can return back here later and see what we've gotten. We also got X, which is this. We, which is a sort of scanner where you can interact with stuff. Way to go, genius. Do you have the hang of that thing yet? I don't know if that was Luigi talking or Egad talking. Let's press Y. And we have a map of Egad's lab right now, but once we get to the mansion, we can actually see a map of the whole mansion, obviously. And interesting thing about this layout is originally you were supposed to be able to just walk around uh, like it's a sort of hub world, I guess. I don't know if that's exactly what it was, but basically they just changed it so you just talk to Egad and then he teleports you someplace. So we have the training room over there. We of course have the gallery and then some sort of other room, which I forget exactly what that is. I'll flash it up on screen real quick. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. Unless there's something else to say. Go back to the lab. All right then. Where will you go, Luigi? Let's head to the mansion. Careful now, Luigi. Sorry if uh, the video can be a bit choppy at times, or maybe the sound comes out, uh, cuts out at some points. I have a, this is my first time recording uh, GameCube and Wii games like this, so sometimes things might glitch out, so just try to be patient with me. Anyways, right over here we have Toad. Oh god. Okay. I cannot do the Toad voice without screaming at the top of my lungs. So I'll just try to read this normally, but if you guys really want me to, I'll do the Toad voice. Boo-hoo-hoo, where did you go, Mario? Huh, Luigi? Wow, it's Luigi, you finally made it, oh joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion and never returned. Then, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. Yay, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. Now, you can say no and be a bit of a jerk to Toad, but he has something that we want. He gives us the ability to save our game. Talk to me for help anytime. And he also lights up the room, so that's awesome. Another thing here is we have this sheet right over here. You suck it up, it reveals a mirror. And the reason this is important to us is because we want to take out our camera and then press A on the mirror. It teleports us right into the center of this. So if you ever see a mirror in the mansion and you need to get back to the entrance of the mansion, just, oh. Got it to work. Sometimes when you stand in the center, that thing will fall on top of you. Must be a random chance of happening, but I guess if you just... Oh. Nope, I got it to happen again. Maybe if you walk into it a specific way, then it'll work. Hold on, let me try this. Okay, no, I guess it's just random whenever you walk into the center. Anyways, if you ever need to get back to the entrance, just look for the nearest mirror and you can teleport. Now how, how about we go ahead and get into some actual ghost hunting, you know? We want to head back into this room where we first met Professor Egad. And it's uh, dark right now. And so first I'm just going to go around the room real quick, 
sucking up some money. Money actually does play an important role into the game, so just if you ever see some, make sure to, to collect it. Did that really not have anything in it? Maybe I'm thinking of this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Not gonna blow out the candles just yet, because I think there's something in here. Yep, got a few coins. And I think that's about it. I won't... From now on, I'll be uh, just checking stuff while I'm hunting ghosts. I don't want to have, like, dedicated sections just to checking the furniture, because that'll take too long. But anyways, once you're ready, go ahead and blow out these candles. <laughs> Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you, Blue Hair. Now you're in for, for it, Blug Hug. Or Blug Hug. Just like a little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? Huh? Blah! -ha. Here they are now. Here's our first ghost. Just do what you did in training. Flash a light at him, and suck him up. Now, an interesting thing is, uh, ghosts will never spawn right in front of you, so what I like to do is just spin around in circles until they spawn. Or, like we'll see later, I'll start, you know, going around and checking a bunch of furniture. Anyways, once you defeat all of the ghosts, the room will light up, and you'll typically get something. Like, right here in the center, we have this chest. And it gave us a key. Now with the Game Boy Horror, once you get a key, it'll tell you exactly which door it leads to. So right now we just want to head over here, and sure enough, the key leads right over there. Huh? This is... The... And room the ante room the ante room ante room however it's pronounced it sure is dark and so of course that means we're gonna see a bunch of ghosts these new ghosts are punching ghosts i forget the exact name whenever i forget the name for an enemy i think those are pink punchers or purple punchers or they're punchers and so, they'll punch you in the face and you'll lose money. Got that orange ghost, and I think we just have one more ghost and then we move on. Or two more ghosts, sorry. Ow. There you see the uh, punching ghosts in action. I'll just call them pink punchers and then... Collect my coins back up. Sometimes you'll flash them with your light and then start using the vacuum and it just decides not to work. Now we move on into the next room. Now, whatever you do, do not open up the left cabinet or the right cabinet. Until I say so. I mean, I guess you can if you want to, it's just... Th there's a thing you can get in here, and it's way easier if you just... Don't open up the cabinets. We have garbage can ghosts, and they drop banana peels that you can slip on, so be very careful when dealing with them. Ow, because that'll happen. I'll just. Okay, got him sucked up. And now, unless I'm mistaken, that that's it for all of the main ghosts in this room. Yeah. So, uh, once you... Just wait a little while, and then once no ghosts are appearing... So, don't open up this left cabinet, because the last ghost that you need to light up the room is in there. However, in this right cabinet, uh, there's a specific ghost that'll help you get a lot of money, called the Speedy Spirit. And like his name suggests, he's incredibly quick, and so it's a lot easier to hit him when there's not a lot of ghosts flying around. So you want to open this up, flash him, immediately start sucking him up, and see how much money he drops. 
there will be a lot of those guys around the mansion, and you want to get them if you want a lot of money. Speaking of a lot of money, first let me get that coin. This middle cabinet. Oh, I thought that had a lot of money in it for some reason. Huh, that's weird. Anyways, I'm going to check this real quick to see if that has anything in it. Okay, it's got a heart. And then the last ghost is in here. It's just a normal orange ghost. And that's it. We're done with this room. Key will spawn up there. You want to use your vacuum to suck it down. And that key leads all the way over to the left side of the house. And now you want to head over here to the left because this is the balcony. And there's another toad. Alright, where are you? Huh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi, how lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. We get this little balcony lit up. Get everywhere, can't find him. Where is he? Talk to him again. And then you can save. And that's where I'm going to leave off this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on to the lower left side of the house and see if there's anything over there that we can find. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Mm-hmm. <laughs>